desperate? Are people too desperate to the yes. point of being convinced to do such things? It's not really too desperate. There's the desperation part. The desperation comes because of the lack of providence. You see, mm -hmm. every kind of human being that is anchored on the concept of God means they are seeking transcendence. They're not seeking for a dead philosophy. You cannot talk about God and then there's nothing that you avail. Because you see, like for instance, the same preaching of the God concept actually is the one that births atheism. Because people look at what you're talking about God. And so, so most of the time people think about someone who says he's an atheist, they think an atheist is anti-God. An atheist is not necessarily an anti-God. An atheist is someone that is seeking God a different way that he has not met the threshold of the person that's arguing for God. So you see, if I'm on God's side, I'm saying I'm an apostle, I'd be irritated against an atheist. But question is, this atheist is not just atheist because he's anti-God. This atheist is an atheist because the leadership that is, has, is, is claiming to have the custody of revealing who God is, is not meeting the threshold of what their heart is seeking to be answered. So now, I can come because I'm an apostle and being proud and such and just saying, uh, blanketing, suppressing what your questioning is. You see, so for instance, like, you can come and begin to ask me questions about God and then you begin to become irritated. It means technically I'm not really answering so it means, at the end of the day, I will not convince you about God. So it means, if I'm the one who is an apostle, and I'm a custodian of the concept of God, and you're a common man, who is answering questions that an apostle that claims to be in relationship with God cannot answer, what will you do? It will be that the same desperation that will cause you to come off and find something that you can anchor on, because what is seeking answers is not anchoring. So you see, we can come together as men of God and try to just bias our own selves vis-a-vis -vis the mass, but you're not necessarily answering the question that is in the heart that people like Mackenzie came into place and began to appeal to that inner desire for a transcended uh, contact with the realm of God. Okay. Apostle, the examination exercise continues. Yes. Resumed yesterday, it had been 